Apparently I did a good job of tying the last one, but this time I'm actually going to watch. Guys, once it is uh, 15 minutes in the future, or 10 to 15 minutes in the future, you guys have to tell me so I know to stop. Because I'm not going to trust myself to watch the clock myself. Uh, let's see. Okay, I have the time. Should have done that before now, so I wouldn't waste time. But, who needs to be responsible? Surprised we also haven't run into any iron... Iron, uh, ivory. No, young ivory. Iron youngery. We haven't run into any of those. Pretty peculiar. Well, I'd like to know what the Isakari are. Uh, that's one thing I don't know the history of in this game. That you guys might, uh, be able to tell me more about. And I don't know why I keep trying to eat, considering that I'm full. Kill that guy. Snipe him so we can, uh... Fight a honey skunk way before we should. Um... Should I be silly? Silly translates to, should I try to possess it? Oh wait, do we have... Nope, we don't have precognition. So let's be a little bit silly and fail. Yeah, I know we fail. Let's move this guy away from loot, because we don't want him to be destroying it when he, when he inevitably uses that one ability of his, which he never used. Odd. Oh well. I'm not complaining. So here's another chest, as you all can see. So why bother to mention it? Basic toolkits, they seem to do absolutely nothing. And wow, we're actually carrying too much. Let's throw something on the ground that we're not interested in. Uh, probably the lantern and uh, hat, believe it or not, is what we should throw down. Hmm. Or we could drop something here that we plan on picking up later, again. So, let's see. I suppose that we're going to want to get these water skins back. I'll just leave them here temporarily. I can actually just leave this dungeon and not come back, but I want to stay for a bit longer so that I can kill this one guy. No, so that I can uh, get a bit more experience. And hopefully prepare myself for future things. So many enemies that we're killing that we can't pick up the items of. So I guess in this case it's not so terribly useless to use the, have the multiple legs mutation. That would be kind of useful in uh, avoiding this too heavy situation. Notice how um, some things do weigh nothing. All ammo weighs nothing, doesn't matter how much you have. And vine wafers weigh nothing. Their gnawed cousins also weigh nothing. That's why it's good to stock up on lots of vine wafers. They do fill you eventually. And they weigh nothing. So, wait, did he restock ever? He never restocked. Oh well, let's just drop some of this on the ground. The shopkeeper is not intelligent enough to take it, so all should be fine. And we probably should have turned in the Gershling corpse first, because we have very little to do with it other than sell it, since we can't eat it and get mutation points out of it. Which I again say would be a good idea. It doesn't have to be every time you use it, it just has to be a luck-based thing. That way I can uh, use precognition to get it all the time. See, we don't need to carry around that much water. That's one thing about uh, water. You don't always want to carry around huge amounts of it. Just enough to uh, get by. So, once I'm done clearing this inventory of things that we don't really want to carry around, which I just did, let's talk to this F who doesn't actually have anything interesting to say except go to the Elder. So, we have our Gershling Corpse. Hey Elder, we have a Gershling Corpse. Press the Enter button a bunch of times, then we have to move down. And now we get 750 experience. Do we get a level up? No, we just get weird artifacts. So, let's see what this guy is. 
It's a club! Oh my god, it's not at all a fix-it spray. Let's equip it. Yeah, this is a club. Oh boy. Oh wait, we can examine it again? Let's examine it again. Oh my goodness, it's a fix-it spray. Yes, that happens in this game. Sometimes you end up, um... Wait, did I ever pick up a an iron axe? Uh, well, what I was going to say is sometimes you end up not fully figuring out what something is the first time you examine it. So you might end up thinking that a gun is a club or something like that. In that case, it was a fix-it spray we thought was a club. Examine it a bit more, and we figure out it was something quite different. So, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I am trying to turn off the auto-get things. That way I don't have to pick everything up and drop it again once I step on that square. So I have a few more things to turn to put, to, uh, put down there. We don't need to be carrying around that one weight. We got tons of uh, insta-heal auto-injectors. Uh, we probably don't need those either, but... Oh well. Get some more wine vapor. Can we harvest again? Well, yes we can. Can't harvest the uh, map vine wafers. So, back to rocking this red rock. And we're gonna go down. Whoop. Oh, yeah, let's use that little shortcut. Even though it's technically not a shortcut, it just saves me clicks. That's one nice thing you could do. But if there's ever an enemy in the way, it will automatically stop you. Even if the enemy is on your side. Oh, I have to show off that one glitch. Let's see if I can find a uh, snapshot so I can show off that one glitch. You'll do. Come on. Come on. Or actually, I'll just use your snapshot friend. He's probably easier to possess. Come on, come on, come on. And, congratulations. Your body is mine. And, what? You're supposed to be on my side, jilted lover. What? Another version of this game, you're always on my side. Oh well. I guess that uh, Snapjaws can't do the glitch anymore. What I was going to do was make the creature try to go onto the jilted lover. Doing so in previous versions, at least, would result in the jilted lover moving on top of you, off the wall, and you just have a bunch of the jilted lovers not on the wall, I guess you could say. Odd, but not useful at all. It's like when you try to uh, trade positions with somebody who uh, isn't an enemy. You go to their square, they go to your square, but snap jaws can't go into walls, so they don't end up going to the jilted lover's old square, and they both end up on the same square. So let's move on a bit. More of these enemies that I am killing in a non intellectual way, not intelligent way. It's not intellectual either. And hooray, we get more trade goods. Ah, uh, did I kill him or did ah? Uh, you're you're you killed him. You didn't gonna get any experience for that, but I got experience for you, so it's all good. Get some more trade goods. Notice how we probably have more than we'd ever uh, be able to spend at uh, that one trader guy in that one place. Jump is trader trader. Uh, what is it? Tram. Something like that. So. Got some more of this stuff. Do we get any attribute points? Oh! Why was I not using precognition every time I changed maps on the map area thing? Okay, that's another me being stupid, I suppose. Multiple legs, horns, or flaming hands? Well, just because I feel like it, I'll get flaming hands and use it again. Flaming hands, B, which corridor should I do it down? I'll do it down this one. Rawr. Let's see what's over here. This one snap draw. And let's see what else is here. Yep. So now we have a little bit of information. Not incredibly useful. I do want to see one thing though. Precognition usually takes like 500 uh, turns. Unless you have a 
higher ego thingamajig. Whoops, wrong button. Now it takes 471. Yeah. One good thing to do with precognition in order to get the most use out of it is to let the precognition run out by itself. Just keep on running and doing random garbage until the precognition times out. Because all those turns that you spend are going to count against the uh, precognition uh, cooldown. And that'll mean you get to use it again faster. So, back to killing things mindlessly. Exploring the dungeon in, an, in a stupid way. Pick up those uh, water skins that we probably don't need. And run around like an idiot. Another snap draw. What did he drop? He dropped a slender thing and he dropped his corpse. And they always drop their corpses. So back down here. So many dread roots. So many. Ooh. Oh, these are lead slugs. I was wondering what weapon that these guys might have dropped. They usually don't drop clubs and stuff like that. Ooh, what? Did the bloody young ivory dies? I guess the beetle bum killed it? The beetle bum that's bleeding because it uh, was hit by the young ivory? Yeah, not everything is your uh, enemy here. Just pick up. Si oh, you jerk. Just pick up single ammos is. No, it's probably not worth the time that we have to spend to do that. And this beetle bum is not bloody. Wait a second. Should I try to kill it? Maybe I should. Not if I'm going to be ambushed by young ivories, shooty things, and gerslings. Just kill you faster. So you already had the advantage of uh, having more HP than I did. Eat you. May as well. Not going to get a mutation point out of it, but to take a bunch of the hips for no particular reason. Yeah, I had a feeling you were stationary. Oh, my goodness. I'm not playing intelligently. Let's take a little bit of a nap here. Another freaking uh, young ivory. Right when I finish saying that we haven't run into any, we run into them. And he's dead. What? Seed splitter. Seed splitter. Seed spitter. Can't talk today. Okay, good. We're doing pretty well in this battle. Yep, we won easily. And what? Wait, how did the young ivory hit us without hitting the Gershling? Are Gershlings and young ivories allied together or something? I've not heard of any such uh, peculiar alliance. I know that uh, Snapjaws are supposed to be friends with um, Jilted Lovers. Let's see, maybe I can possess this uh, Gershling and show you guys what I tried to show you earlier. Let's go down here. Yep, he's our friend. So let's just trade spaces with him. Hmm? It's almost as if he went to our map. Uh, grid point thing. And he did. ZOMG. We could also move other plants. We probably uh, make multiple plants in the same square this way. Let's do it. And then we were scared by that. Okay. Come back to us, uh, Gershling. You'll get a turn when we finish domination, so we'll put you one square away from us. You move a little closer to us, and then we kill you. As we do with everything that serves us, except for dragonflies. And this looks like the end of this episode for now. Bye-bye.